y'all it's Heather and it is time for our weekly haul I am so excited we do these hauls every single week and I want to do a try on haul today I've got a ton of new stuff so we're gonna have like lots of different things going on in this video I'm gonna be trying some things on we're gonna be doing some swatches and I'm gonna be using my vlog camera to like actually unbox things and show you a little chaotic just like me but it's gonna be a great time to start off I want to show you the stuff that I bought at Sephora I'm very excited about it I'm wearing it now but we're gonna cut to me with some makeup on but not quite as much I bought the new makeup by Mario stuff at Sephora I placed it on that order and I bought the surreal soft setting spray and I bought this real skin soft blur setting powder I bought the shade neutral light and I have worn this once but I haven't worn it all day I wore this on a day where I like put my makeup on and then took it off pretty quick so I thought I would like zoom you in and we would try this together because I know a lot of people are really loving this powder and then I've seen several reviews where people really are not liking it so why don't we like just apply it right now it won't be a wear test it'll just be like a try on you know so this is the surreal skin soft blur setting powder I did get neutral light there were several shades to choose from but I thought let me try the light shade just maybe give my under eye a little bit of brightening maybe set everything in place I've got this on my little puff and I thought I would like press it into the skin and we'll kind of see I'm just gonna work it in and you can see like I just applied my concealer I'm wearing the concealer as foundation today and this is like a very thin powder like I don't even I don't know if you can see like a little bit is in the air and when I wore it the first time I found that it didn't like make me matte or anything like it it definitely like mattified at first but even though I only had it on for like six hours or so it didn't really keep me matte like I had to touch up which I'm not a huge fan of but that was just one time trying it it could have been any number of factors so I'm gonna keep using it but I wanted to kind of show you me just applying it so here's what it looks like set and unset I don't know about it yet like I don't feel like it's smoothing my texture so much I mean it's gonna look smoother on that side because the light is not bouncing off the wet concealer which of course will like draw attention to the pores but any powder would kind of do that unless it's like really horrible like the new Givenchy powder I will link that in the cards for you <laughs> but this one I don't think it's really doing my under eyes a lot of favors and you might be thinking well girl you used a lot of powder hello my name is Heather I love powder I do use a lot of powder I have oily skin and it is rainy and it is humid it is always humid and my skin is always oily so I use a lot of powder like that is nothing new for me so that's what it looks like I'll kind of set the rest of my face I'll buff in my finishing powder and then we'll use the spray together my face is now set I have some finishing powder on and I've done my brows so this Mario powder is giving me that like natural finish blurred effect that it's supposed to but like I said I think setting a concealer with powder is going to blur a bit I don't know that it's the most blurring powder I mean I know that it's not the most blurring powder that I have but I want to test it I want to try it it's not bad like it looks okay it does look a little dry right in here for my preference but overall it looks fine so we're gonna use the settings right here is one thing that I don't like about this matte white packaging like it gets so dirty which isn't a big deal but like you probably can't even see because it's so bright white but anyways we'll spray with settings right this is supposed to prolong the wear of my makeup and I don't know if mine is broken but like my cap wiggles and I don't feel like that's normal mm -hmm. It's a nice fine mist. Yes, I go a little crazy on setting spray. The setting spray has dried down. It's supposed to give like a natural skin-like finish. I do think the setting spray makes me look really nice. It makes it look like my makeup's been on a couple of hours and not powdery, but I do think it gives me a little bit more glow 
so that's completely fine I just will know that when I use it that it is gonna give me a little more of a glow rather than something like my Too Faced setting spray or my one size or my Urban Decay All Nighter like it's just gonna give me a little more of a glow than those so that's what it looks like let me go ahead and just tell you what else I bought at Sephora while we're here I bought a glow recipe blackberry retinol blemish serum I want to try this I want to use this I love glow recipe they make a lot of really great products it's supposed to be a lightweight triple retinoid blemish serum that smooths textures minimize blemish unclog pores so yeah I bought this I hope it works good I hope it works good I'm excited to use it I haven't used it yet but glow recipe is a brand that I find a lot of their products really work for me well and it was my it was is my birthday month so I got my birthday gift I took out the summer Fridays gift you know if you're a beauty insider at Sephora you get to pick like a free gift so this is the lip butter balm in the shade vanilla or the scent vanilla right yeah vanilla and it's the jet lag mask and I am going to be traveling this month so I could definitely use this jet lag mask I have purchased the full size of that a couple of times actually but it has been years I just got distracted by like other products and trying those and using those but I remember loving the jet lag mask so when I saw this was an option I grabbed it while we're here let's talk about the new launch from ritual defeat this is the soft sorcery weightless serum concealer and I'm wearing both of these today instead of foundation I'm wearing the shades spell 166 medium tan olive and spell 151 medium olive this is described as a lightweight serum concealer that brightens dark circles covers spots and hides blemishes it is a medium coverage and it's not overly glowy or matte it's more like that skin like satin type finish these shades are perfect for me and I've been testing this out for about a week now and I have worn this as my foundation without anything else and I've worn it as concealer with other foundations several times now too this concealer has ingredients that are supposed to improve skin elasticity, resilience, protect your skin barrier, reduce the appearance of under eye circles. I love my full coverage concealers, but medium coverage things are my kind of go-to. I've been wearing this concealer for the past week and I've been loving it. I think it's so beautiful. I mean, you see how it looks on my face as my foundation concealer, like all in one. I've done that and I love it. I think it wears beautifully. I think it sinks into the skin. I think it looks so skin like I'm just really impressed with it there are 24 shades and it retails for $29 but you can use my code if you want to get a discount I will pop that up here on the screen for you and I will also put it down in the description box the undergrowth palette from cosmic brushes I showed y'all this last week just the cover the inside had not been revealed but look at this this is like a me color story green grungy I love the undergrowth theme of like the forest floor I'm so into it I I do have a full video on this palette I'm showing you comparisons to other palettes I'm showing you eye swatches of every single shade all 20 shades and I have three eye tutorials in that video for you so definitely check it out if you're curious about this palette at all my affiliate code with the brand is Heather so it will give you a discount on this and I think it's stunning I got a really cool package from one size and I'm so excited about it they sent me their new foundations and they sent it to me before launch so I could test it and try it and it looks amazing it's full coverage it's skin like finish but I'm gonna show you clips of me without my foundation concealer anything like that on just a hydrating primer so that you can see the shades are so off they sent me shades that are way too light for me the deepest shade that they sent me has a rosy undertone I'll pop the swatches and I'll pop the shades on the screen but I have used the shade that was the neutral golden undertone I mixed it with my face atelier olive mixer I tried mixing in other things to make it deep enough so I've worn it a couple of times now it's very hard to tell like exactly what I think because of how much mixer I had to put in to make the shade work for me I did wear it and I do think it's beautiful so when the foundation launches at Sephora I am going to pick up my correct shade I think I'm going to try to pick it up in store because I have this like sample card that they sent that has all the shades on there and it doesn't look like there are any olive undertones until you get into shades that are way too deep for me but I do think I could probably make some of these like golden or neutral golden undertones work and I really want to try it because from what I can tell even with the mixer like I really 
like the foundation. I think it's going to be really, really beautiful. I don't mind adding in the olive to foundations. I have to do that a lot actually, but usually it's just a tiny bit, not like a one-to-one -one ratio. I hope that seeing those shades swatched on my cheek was helpful to you, but I do also want to show you like a good shade match for me, which is my Dior Warm Olive shade. It's the shade 4WO, just so you can kind of see like more what I'm looking for in a shade of foundation. They also sent the sponge, which I have not tried, but I plan to. I wanted to wait until I had like my correct shade. I don't know why, I just did, but maybe I'll use this before then because we still have a little bit of time before this launches at Sephora. I will link this in the description box though, along with everything else I talk about today. If you're curious about what's on my eyes, it's the Poison Garden palette from Bella Beauté Bar. I did film this look and another look, the look that I was wearing in my advent calendar video. The tutorials will be coming. I will have those for you soon ASAP. I'm working on it, but I'm excited. This is a beautiful palette. I love Bella Beauté Bar. My affiliated code with the brand is Heather. If you're ever shopping their site, you can use that to get a discount, including on this palette. This is gorgeous. This has got to be one of my favorite palettes from the brand. I just really like these tones. I like these kind of autumn inspired shades. I like that we still have some pops of like bright shades over here. I just really, really love Bella Beauté Bar. I think they're making amazing high quality products. I know they also launched some single shadows that are like hand pressed along with this collection. And I'm kind of debating if I need to pick those up. I was going to, but then I'm trying to talk myself out of it, but then I kind of feel like I need it. And I just love this color story. I've been playing with this palette. I really just enjoyed swatching it. I've enjoyed the looks I've created with it and I'm excited to share those with you, but the shadows are performing so beautifully. Exactly what I expect from this brand, like just so incredibly gorgeous. And I think they nailed it with this launch. They're always a brand that is exciting to me. They're always putting out products that I'm interested in, that I'm curious about, that I want to know more about. If you missed it, I have a whole video. I swatching the new Danessa Myrick's Lightworks palette. I bought this palette from Sephora. I am so happy with my purchase, but I don't want to spoil the video if you haven't seen it. I did eye swatches of all the shades. I did comparisons to some other shimmer palettes that I have. I show you how this palette breaks down into three separate palettes. It's an absolutely genius design. Like I love Danessa Myrick's she does amazing like innovative products so yeah like i hold so much makeup it's crazy i also received the new fantasy cosmetica makeup just for fun collection collaboration enchanted autumn and i love this collection i love amanda i love fantasy cosmetica so i made a whole video on this i did a full video eye swatching her palette lip swatching all of her lip products i am wearing one of her lip balms with the lip liner today I'm wearing the shade, what shade is it? Elixir. I'm wearing Elixir, but yeah, check out that video if you wanna see all of these shadows in action, all of the lip balms in action, hear my review, see a tutorial. I show you some comparisons in that. Like it's a big video, so definitely check that out. I do have an affiliated code with Fantasy Cosmetica. It is Heather. It will not apply to the Enchanted Autumn Collection, but it will work for other items on their site. Let's jump into our makeup news segment. We started this last week. I told y'all at the end of these videos, if y'all like it, we can kind of talk about makeup news, things that are coming that I'm excited about or have strong feelings about one way or the other. So we're going to roll into that segment now that we're done with the new makeup haul try on vlog style. I hope you had fun with that because I really did, but we had a sneak peek teaser from Inslee Rain. This says, watch your step as you descend into Underland coming soon. And I'm ready, like Inslee Rain, I am ready. They are one of my favorite brands. So I will be keeping you up to date as like more gets revealed on this. I'm hoping it's a full collection. Editing Heather here, I was just getting ready to upload this video and I had to delete it and add this photo in because you have to see the inside of this palette. Look at it. I need it. I must have. All I know is that Inslee Rain said this is coming soon, launching soon. I don't know. I will fill y'all in as soon as I know the details. I do have an affiliated code with Inslee Rain. It is Heather if you're ever shopping their site. And I have a full Inslee Rain playlist, which I will link in the cards for you if you're curious about the brand because they are an independently owned brand that I obsess over. Who predicted an e.l.f. collaboration with Tinder, the dating site? Did anybody see that coming? Did anybody want this to come? Like, 
what is this? I feel like this is appealing to a very select group of people and it's kind of weird to me, but we have a collab with Tinder and Elf. You get a lip trio, lip oils, okay, uh, lippy sticks, face primer, the set uationship setting mist. The face primer is called All Slick No It. Like they have very cringe names. I have to say, I hate it. Like, I hate this concept. I don't mind Elf collabing with a dating site, but it's the, the names. Like, they're just so cringe. The Flame Changer makeup bag. Like, you know what it is? Like, I'm too old for this. I, I will recognize this. I will recognize this. I'm too old for this. That's what it is. It's not Elf. It's not Tinder. It's me. Should I buy the new Profusion and Peanuts Halloween collection? I love Halloween makeup. I'm like a sucker for it. I always want to buy it. I have not seen this in store. I have been to my local Walmart and I could not find it. So I think what would push me over the edge to buy this is if I see it in store because I really kind of think this is adorable, but I'm showing like self-control and not ordering it. So this says it's going to be in Walgreens. I haven't been in Walgreens, so maybe I need to look there. But look, there's like an eyeshadow palette, there's a highlighter, a bag, sponges. Like, I think this is so cute. A lip oil set that smells like candy. I kind of feel like I need it. And I mean, the eyeshadow palette is $18, and the lip, like, the lip set is $9. There's a holographic highlighter. Like, I want it, okay? They're Casper highlighters from last year, and the lip toppers are some of my favorite products. Like they're amazing. I mean, amazing, amazing, amazing products. So I think I'm gonna have to pick this up. I think I'm gonna have to go to Walgreens to see if I can find it. Wet n Wild also gave us a Halloween collection and I kind of feel like I need this too. I won't lie to you, I had this in my cart. I was gonna purchase this. This is available now, but I'm like, Heather, just wait see it in store, look at it, pick out what you want because it's Nightmare Before Christmas and Wet n Wild. So we have a face and eye palette, blush palette, primer, lip oils. That's what I feel like I'm most excited about. Uh, and the sticky serum primer because I wanna know is this like the Milk Hydro Grip? There is like a multi-stick set. Like there's a lot in here. Do I need it? Absolutely not. I don't need anything. Like I get it, but also I need it. You know, like I need to see it at least. Unearthly dropped a pre-order on us. Okay, let's talk about this. This is Not Normal Remastered. I have the original Not Normal and I love it. Like, I love that palette. I think this looks so pretty. So this is extended to be 18 shades now. It's been reformulated and this looks so pretty pretty. It is a magnetic palette as well and it says that the ship date is the end of October. So it's available for pre-order now. My code Heather will apply if you want to get dis a discount on this collection because the price of the palette is $62 and this looks it looks really really beautiful. I mean I love greens and purples and let me know do you want me to review this? I mean I reviewed the original so long ago and I think this remastered version looks beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this somewhat chaotic haul. I really did. I do these hauls every single week, so definitely check out my full haul playlist if you love hauls. I love trying new products. I love showing y'all like what's coming new to my collection, what I'm gonna be filming with, what I'm gonna be reviewing, what's new. I love talking about the makeup news with y'all. I just, I really, really enjoy doing these hauls and just kind of having like a casual laid back time of the week that we get to just talk about new makeup. So stick around. I have tons of videos on makeup. I've got some up here for you. Let's chat makeup. Tell me what you're excited about down in the comments and stick around. Check out some of my other videos.